Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're setting up the budget for January. So let's start. So first, we actually will uh, do a little bit of uh, tracker updates uh, in the new journal. So I introduced uh, my little budgeting journal in one of my previous videos of setting up uh, the budget for new year. I made this myself. Uh, this is my pride and joy. It took me a while to make it, but I'm very happy to start using it. And first, I wanted to update this little tracker so we can uh, see what amounts we're working with for the year so at the beginning of the year for my subscriber tracker we currently have 548 subscribers so that's what i'm going to write in here 548 and then we're going to update the end of the year and the change when we get to it and then each month at the end of the each month we will do a little uh graph to kind of uh see our progress so that was for the subscriber tracker. Then we set up the goals, financial goals, uh, also in a, a video. And then also for sinking fund goals, we also did this in the budget setup video for 2023. So today we are mostly focusing on uh, the balances for the uh, new year and also setting up January. So... Should we do the balances? Yes, we should do the balances. Okay, so let's start counting the balances and then we can set up. Uh... Technically, we will do these balances in January. So I'll just transfer um, the amounts to it so because we have the same balances um, monthly. So I'll just count this once and then we will transfer the same amounts into the beginning of the year and then we do it at the end of the year great great i like how i already think of everything so let's start with january i have little cheat sheets for my goals so i have made this little month at a glance um posted page for uh each month and this i can use either for my goals for my notes maybe my stumbling stones or whatever and this i can use however i like so for now i think i will fill only one of them and uh my goal uh this month is to go on my skiing trip go on my skiing trip to austria and it is going to be from the 14th of january until the 21st of january so that's what's happening for uh, my family and me this month. And then maybe, I don't really have other goals rather other than the fact that we start the monthly savings challenge. Let's do that. Start monthly mystery savings challenges. Great. So these two I will fill, leave blank and maybe we'll fill them in at the end of the month to see maybe our progress or something that we uh, uh, found out during the month that we want to make uh, known. So for the calendar, uh, once again, so I'm filming this on the 30th, which is the 30th of December. We're going to celebrate New Year's on the 1st. And then nothing much is happening on the first week of January. My mom's name day is on the 10th. Um, and then we leave for Austria on the 14th. And we are in Austria until the 21st. And then I think that's all actually for January. Like I have, don't have much going on for January because it's kind of like a mellow month after all of the craziness of uh, uh, December. So I think that's all for like big events in January. So let's turn to balances. We'll count the balances first. Okay, let's start with beauty. I'm going to keep my pen nearby so beauty has let's check in nails first so it has 30 nails plus laser has 50 100 50 200 
plus hair has 40 plus facials have 60 plus products have um 55 60 61 62 63 and 64 so in total we have 394 euros in beauty 394 birthdays is empty it's a new envelope we're gonna start stuffing it in january clothing has a 50 fun i believe only has money in winter and it has 50 65 65 in fun and gifts has 50 100 150 160 160 160 in gifts why is my tracker showing 180 hmm that's weird one i don't know honestly hmm okay i'll uh, make a note for myself to check maybe i messed something up and yeah because my tracker says 180 but i'm counting only 160 so that's good to do these because you don't know what's happening in your own envelopes so next is johnny cash our green binder so health we have dentist first and dentist has 250 plus therapy has 220 and 30 plus oh there was a five still so 235 plus five okay and then physio has a 50 medicine has a 20 and miscellaneous has 50 and 70. so in total we have 625 in health so holidays is empty it's a new envelope uh rollover we don't count in our actually we should start counting rollover maybe i'm gonna add it here but it's still empty so i'm just gonna write it as zero and travel, we combine what we have in here and in the Maldives envelope. So travel has 500, 700, 800, 820, 825, 826, 7, and 8. So 828 plus what we have in Maldives, which is flights is empty because I already paid for those. Where hotels has... 200, 300, 350, 360, 361, 2, 3, and 4. So 364. In total, that's 1,192. So we should fix this envelope. Okay, so 1,192. Great, so that's all for this binder. Now we move on to long-term sinking funds. And first is babies. It has 150. Car has 160. Emergency. Good question. I don't remember. 1,000, 2,000, and 50. In emergency. And then home has 150. Pets also has 150. Retirement is empty, but the goal for this year is 1,000. Savings is empty for now because we will start a new uh 50 envelope challenge technology is 150 weddings also 150 so that was all for this binder it's good that i condense these so it's easier for me to see the amounts so charity is empty etsy has a what why is christmas after oh sorry this is out of order sorry for that this is the correct order. I didn't set this up correctly. Okay, so Christmas is empty. And Etsy has a 50. And tattoos and piercings also have a 50. So that was also very quick. <laughs> That's nice. And then we have our big binder. And 3430 
has, let's check. Uh, it has 1,050 in total. And then subscriptions has three envelopes we're working in currently. So credit card has a 10. Let me grab my calculator, 10 plus Spotify has a 10 as well, plus what we have in transport, which is a 15. Uh, so that was 10 plus 10 plus 15 is 35 in subscriptions. And let me put this in order back. And then we are gonna have our monthly savings challenges. For now, it's uh, empty and but we are going to start stuffing it in january and then another envelope i didn't write down is my buffer envelope which is in my cash envelope binder i want to keep a hundred in here however i had to spend 50 so i do believe that this should be 50 in here now which is 20 30 40 and 50 indeed okay so a 50 in buffer Two, 15 buffer. Okay, so now let's calculate these totals and then we will also transfer these amounts off camera into our uh, yearly balances. So when the year is over, we can calculate the change and see the progress. So let's count and see how much we have. Plus 150, 150, 50, 50, 50, 35, and 50. So in total, we have 6,681 euros at the beginning of January and at the beginning of the year. So that's great. Uh, so here are these, um, I will fill in as the... Um, month progresses but basically these are uh, overview tables for me to see how, how the income and expenses expenses <laughs> expenses change and i will fill in this once my excel file is uh, finalized but i think that when i do the next uh, weekly budget update i will update you with these amounts i just need to uh know how much uh, taxes from each paycheck i have to pay so i know kind of uh the budgeted amounts a bit better so i'll update you definitely on these tables so here it's all but what i wanted to do is quickly set up uh um, the new tracker for 30 for 30 which we haven't done yet so let me grab that quickly so that's this it's gonna go into our a5 binder we're gonna say goodbye to these little trackers that we used so thank you for serving as well and now uh 30 for 30 had a thousand and fifty so i made uh, this tracker each line represents 70 euros so we can see how much we need to color in today. So divided by 70, we need to color in 15 full lines, which would be here. So I'm gonna color it in in blue and then color in the letters a different, num not the letters, the numbers like this. I hope it makes sense. Like this. And then I want to color in the letters, again, the letters, the numbers in a different color. So that's what we have in here. This marker is not that good anymore. <laughs> That's with the orange, and then we're gonna do the blue. Okay, I'm gonna color in the blue off camera, but I will write down that this uh, represents the year of 2022. And then this uh, tracker is the other tracker, which here we update the amounts each month. So at the end of each month, we're gonna draw a little graph once again to kind of represent the amount. So that was one thing I wanted to do with you today. And then sticking with this binder, I wanted to 
introduce to you and show you my little January mystery uh, kit. And I'm going to show you how we are uh, implementing that into my budget. So I would like a little drum roll, please, if you will. So this is my little January uh, mystery kit design uh, for this month. This is the pattern we're working with today. It's amazing. I really, really like this wintry mistletoe. Um, yeah, design pattern. So here we're gonna do monthly mystery, you know, monthly savings challenges. And the goal, we do not have a goal. And here I will keep this tracker in the envelope and then we will see each month how much we save. But for now, this kind of um, idea for this design was to setting goals and reaching them. So you can use this either only for the month of January or for the whole year. You can also use this for personal goals, financial goals, whatever goals you want. So let's set this up today for myself and uh, we'll see how I managed to actually achieve them uh, this month. So goal number one is at least 10 new subscribers on my YouTube channel. So that's the goal. And then here I'm gonna write the date when it's completed and color in the star when I do, so on YouTube. So that would bring us to at least 558 minimum. Then goal number two for me is at least five no spend days in the month of January. And here with each no spend day I have, I will allocate um, three euros, euros, oh shit, I messed up, three euros per day into my savings. And here for each subscriber, um, I'll allocate one euro from my budget, um, three euros per day. So at least, and here I would like to write the dates when I don't spend one, two, three, four, five. Yes. So go, goal three is save at least 50 euros in rollover from cash envelopes. So that means that I would allocate the rollover amount into my savings. So this is anything we don't month, uh, weekly uh, save from our cash envelopes, it will go into this envelope. And then at the end of the month, we will ca uh, count uh, the savings in total, what we managed to save thanks to our little tracker. And then goal number four is go one week without buying coffee twice a day. So that would mean three euros per day. I would allocate, multiply by seven. It should be 21 euros we allocate. So I'm trying to cut down my coffee consumption and because it does quite, uh, it is quite expensive if you buy it twice a day, every day out. Of course I do make coffee at home, but like I've kind of tracked my expenses and I've seen that if I go to the city or I meet my friends and I buy coffee, it does add up and I spend a lot. So I decided that maybe one week I will be able not to do it. And also because I'm going on my skiing trip, uh, because we will be in the mountains, I thought maybe there won't be that much place for me to buy these coffees and also not spend that much money because we do have um, breakfast and dinner included. So I thought maybe, uh, but yes, these are the goals for January. I'm super excited excited to see how we do and uh, this is the start of uh, the first um, month of my uh, monthly savings uh, challenges my mystery kits you can get uh, these on my Etsy shop I already published I think the first half of the year so from January to June each month is a different pattern, a different design, a different uh, kind of idea, uh, a different savings trick. So yeah, make sure to grab some if you want. But I am so excited to see these. I've wanted to make this type of a challenge for a while now. So I'm just happy to see it come to fulfillment. So
So yeah, that, I'm going to put this now into my monthly savings A5 envelope and then we're going to come back to it each week, I think, to kind of update the challenges and update also the amounts saved. So I think that was actually all for today's video. I'm sorry if it was all over the place, but once again, what video of mine isn't? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be back tomorrow with a weekly budget update, finalizing a number, uh, the week number four of the December and say uh, setting up uh, the first week in our little new uh, budget journal for January and also on Monday I will be back with the first cash stuffing of January and of the new year so that's going to be very exciting but yes I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel we have fun over here I'll be back soon with more videos but in the meanwhile I wish you a very wonderful day a happy new year and I hope to see you next time bye